Yo, what's the word? It's your boy 16. If you like the content on this channel, I want to ask you to like, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to click that bell for post notifications. Also, I got a website at www.16shotonvisuals.com. But that's enough of me talking. Let's get to what y'all came to see. So, you know, earlier you had spoke on owning a strip club. You could speak on how you came about with that situation. Um, well, okay. So, how I came about that, uh, it was really on accident. It was like on accident on purpose. You know what I'm saying? So basically, when the pandemic had happened or whatever, everybody was just like, we was all scared as fuck. My club had closed down, bitch. All the clubs, strip clubs had closed down, bitch. We didn't know what the fuck we was going to do. And you know what I'm saying? Me being the productive thinker that I am, I was like, well, shit. You know, I'm, I, one thing about me, I'm a hustler, okay? And one thing I ain't never going to do is sit around and not get no motherfucking money. So, bitch, pandemic, whatever, bitch, rain, sleet, snow, shine, hurricane, bitch, tornado, bitch, I'm going to figure it the fuck out. So, um, when the pandemic had happened, they cl- shut all the clubs down, bitch. I had to just, f- we ha- I had to figure out a way. And um, so my first thing, what I did was I started throwing parties, I had got this big ass uh, mansion in Calabasas. Shout out to Calabasas. But <laughs> I had got this big ass mansion in Calabasas, bitch, and I started throwing my own parties because obviously everybody was, you know what I'm saying? Nobody ain't really, everybody was looking for something to do. After the first two, three months, you know, black people, bitch, we, don't, we ain't really scared of too much things. So, bitch, we was like, all right, eh, ain't, ain't enough, like, whatever, bitch, we, we, we want to go outside. So, I had made a party for everybody, you know what I'm saying, a house party. So, I did the house party first, and then um, I was doing the house parties for a while, doing the house parties for a while. It was lit. It was turned up, bitch. It was it was a movie. And then, um, bitch, we kept getting shut down because, you know, the police and people calling the police and, you know, neighborhood, residential, all that other shit. So, somebody I know was like, hey, I know a, a, a club owner. And, you know what I'm saying, maybe you could tell him what you're doing and he might let you do it at his club or whatever. So then, I was like, okay, whatever, let me meet him. So I went, I met with him, whatever I told him what I was doing, you know, and he was like, well, shit, I ain't using the club. So, hey, you know what I'm saying, pay me this. And you could, you know what I'm saying, you could own the club yourself. And I was like, well, shit, 40000 I made that last week. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, bitch, fuck it. I paid that shit. And then, bitch, I had my own motherfucking strip club. And that's motherfucking period. So, from that, you know what I'm saying? I just kept running clubs. You know what I'm saying? Like, that was my thing. Like, everybody knew me for the club. Everybody knew me for the girl. Everybody was like, Diamond, where's that tonight? What's the party? What's lit? What's it? And I just became that girl. And, uh, you know, even till now, like, now I got another club. It's like, just, that's just what I do. I went to Miami, and I got another club. Like, that's just a part of my DNA right now. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, I really, really, honestly, my main purpose for running the clubs is because I feel like the strip clubs is not ran right by these men. They don't give a fuck about the dancers. They don't have no hospitality. They don't have no, like, they treat us like shit. So I'm like, you know what? Instead of keep going to these people club, I'm going to just have my own club. You know what I'm saying? So that's kind of like my whole motive. That was the whole way. That's how I got into the club. But now that, you know what I'm saying? That's just why I'm staying. I, I'm making it a point in my life to always have a strip club, to always have a place where girls could come and feel comfortable and safe. And not have to worry about, oh, this manager trying to fuck or racism or, you know what I'm saying? I have to worry about just the bullshit that come with it because it comes with a lot of bullshit but i'm here you know what i'm saying to let y'all know like come come to my club bitch i ain't trying to fuck you (laughs) i don't even like bitches like that bitch i like dick so come through you know what i'm saying come make your money and go i'm not trying to pimp on you i'm not trying to take your shit i don't want nothing but tip out come pay your money and go get whatever you make that's yours go home and i'm good i try to be fair i want you know what i'm saying everybody to just have like i don't feel like it it have to be a terrible experience to be in a strip club and for a lot of my life it, it has been a negative experience but now i'm realizing that the reason why it's so negative is because of the people that's running the club and I'm like, well, when I run my club, bitch, we have fun. We have fun. It's lit. It's turned. Like, 
we not stressed out we not worried about y'all don't gotta worry about oh my god i said this nigga dick just to get in the club no babe come come to work i ain't get you i ain't on that come do your thing and go the dollhouse and treat us hollywood if you watching we got auditions every tuesday so come see if you got what it takes to be a diamond all <laughs> i noticed that like from me working in there i used mm-hmm. to see certain shit and one thing i seen was like certain security guards they uh they are like treat certain women different like they'll be on some like i right, if you ain't doing what i want you to do you ain't fucking me you ain't doing this when niggas come with money and artists or right big nights, they you won't let you section. in the section but they we won't bring in this girl in the section because she doing what we tell her absolutely or like i remember i was in the section and the nigga wants to secure like which one of these girls fuck and then like it's like the security plan pimp or some shit right way, but he's still secured i'm like damn it's all type of shit it is girl. and people don't never see none of that that we really gotta go through and that's why me as a dancer i feel like i'm the best motherfucker to own a strip club who the fuck better to run a strip club than the stripper <laughs> You know what I'm saying, bitch? I know the ins and outs. I know the ups and downs. I know everything. And I'm going to treat it like how I know I want to be treated. So I'm okay with that. Like, that's what, that's like my main purpose. Like, bitch, I want to make sure this shit fair. I want to make sure all the girls, you know what I'm saying, is cool, just making the money. And I tell all my girls, I say, listen, if you got any problem with any of my staff, bitch, let me know. Don't let nobody tell you, oh, man, you ain't going to work here. If I, you don't know, I know, babe. Come to me and, bitch, whoever's getting fired. Because I don't play them type of games at all. So do you feel like in a uh, club, a lot of women like not uh, respect or like mistreated and shit by the staff or people around? Absolutely. And it's so crazy because as a person that run a strip club or own a strip club, like you have to understand that the most precious asset for you is the strippers. <laughs> yeah. Motherfuckers are not coming here just to, you know what I'm saying? Like, they could drink alcohol anywhere. You can go to a regular club. You can motherfucking go to the liquor store and buy a bottle. The reason why men come to a strip club is to see strippers. The reason why your strip club is doing so well is because of the girls that work there. So why would we not treat the girls that work there with fucking some type of respect? Why would we, you know what I'm saying, talk down on them? Why would we motherfucking, you know what I'm saying, be mean to them or be evil to them or not do certain shit? Like, these are our greatest assets. If all the bitches in the club was to say, you know what, y'all ain't treating us right and walk the fuck out, Every customer will walk in and walk the fuck out too. Like, bitch, ain't no bitches here. Where y'all going? You get what I'm saying? Like, bitch, ain't, I came here to see bitches. Ain't no bitches. So at the end of the day, the girls are the most important factor in the strip club. And I feel like they should be treated with a little bit more fucking respect. You don't got to tell a bitch, get the fuck out of my office. Or, you get what I'm saying? Like, niggas be really talking to bitches crazy. And it's like, bro, it's not even necessary. And me, mind you... After I owned a strip club, I went back to dancing at a strip club. So me as a pri- previous owner and going to a strip club and it's like, like, bro, y'all ain't got to do all this. And I'm telling them, like, nigga, I ran a strip club. I know how to do this shit. Like, you not going to sit here and treat little girl me like I'm a fucking child. Bitch, I'm a grown ass woman. You talk to me with fucking respect. You speak to me how I speak to you. Don't talk to me like I'm under you or below you, bitch. I'll buy you. But fuck, (laughs) stop fucking playing with me.